I am here with another tapping video. This is one that I've had requested on Instagram. So here it is. It's all about giving yourself permission to feel your feelings. Because I think, especially if you're on the healing journey, and especially if you're someone who's choosing radical self-love and you're choosing, you know, positive thoughts and all the things, sometimes we can be really resistant when we have challenging feelings come up. But we also know that bypassing our feelings is never the answer. So the only way to really move past our feelings is to move through them. And the beauty of tapping is that we can actually tap on those feelings, amplify those feelings, and then hopefully shift them, or at the very least change how you feel about your feelings. So there isn't that resistance that's blocking them from passing through. Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna get straight into it. So take a moment, close down your eyes. Just take a deep breath. Just allow yourself to observe the feelings in your body. Try not to be in your head about it, judging them. Try to really be in the sensations of whatever difficult feeling you're having, or maybe it's, you're not even sure what the feeling is. You just, you're in resistance. But just allow yourself to observe how that feels in your physical body, because that is really where we experience our feelings, right? It's the reason why we know we feel sad versus anxious versus angry is based on how it feels in our bodies. So allow yourself to notice, maybe it's a tightness in the chest, pit in your stomach, clenching of the jaw, whatever it is, just observe and notice any tendency to wanna to judge. There's no need to judge. It is what it is. It is not good or bad. There's only the judgmental mind that makes it good or bad. It is your experience. It's the human experience. All right, take another deep breath. And when you're ready, start to blink open the eyes. And we're just gonna start tapping right here on the side of the hand and just repeat after me. I have a lot of feelings. Like I feel really deep in my feels right now. And it is really uncomfortable. I do not like it. I wanna go back to feeling happy and joyful. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be emotional. And as I say all these things out loud, I realize just how much resistance I have to feeling my feelings. Maybe it's because I'm judging myself. Maybe it's because I have some idea of what I'm allowed to feel and not allowed to feel. Maybe I'm shooting all over myself going, you shouldn't feel that way. Maybe I'm dismissing my feelings because that's what I was taught growing up. And maybe I'm judging my feelings really harshly saying you shouldn't be feeling that way or you're feeling too much. Maybe there's a judgment here around sensitivity. Whatever it is, I'm choosing to call it out now. I'm choosing to acknowledge that I'm feeling something difficult. And I'm choosing to acknowledge that I have resistance to it. And I'm choosing to be open to the possibility that it is safe to feel my feelings and that my feelings won't stay the same forever. If anything, that's the guarantee. 
the guarantee is my feelings will always be changing. Because that's kind of the pact we have with life. Life is ever changing. The human experience is constant change. But that constant change is only experienced in the present moment. Life is only lived in the present moment. And so even though my present moment feels uncomfortable and icky and sticky and weird and not nice, I still choose to so deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though I have all this resistance and I really don't like how I'm feeling, I still deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Because I have the power to make that choice. And so instead of seeing this difficult feeling or feel these difficult feelings as a reason to beat myself up, judge myself and criticize myself, maybe I could see these feelings as a reason to love on myself harder. Because if one of my friends came to me feeling the way I'm feeling right now, I wouldn't bully and shame them. I'd give them a huge hug and tell them I care about them and that it's gonna be okay. So why can't I do that for myself? Maybe it's time to shift my story. Maybe it's time to choose to love myself more. Starting by allowing myself to feel my feelings. And I'm open to giving that a try. Okay, take a deep breath in. Let it go. Maybe just check in with the body, notice how you're feeling. Maybe a little bit of buzzing here. Maybe already some yawning has started to happen, some watery eyes. Those are all signs that this is working. So let's just keep going. Starting on the top of the head and just repeat after me. Ugh, I really don't wanna feel this way. Feeling this way is so uncomfortable. It's icky and sticky and weird. It's messy and uncomfortable and I'm resisting the hell out of it. But what if my resistance was actually keeping it around longer? What if by resisting it, I'm actually amplifying it? It's like squeezing a water balloon. <laughs> squeezing it harder is only gonna make it burst. And so maybe I'm open to releasing this resistance right now. And maybe all it takes is for me to become aware of the resistance. The same way that becoming aware of tension in your shoulders, carrying them up by your ears, is all you need in order to drop them down and relax. Maybe resistance works the same way. That all I need to do to drop it, let it go, is simply to notice that I'm in resistance. To call myself out and to call myself out with love. And be like, hey, babe, stop resisting. 
it's okay. It is safe to feel your feelings. I don't know where I picked up the belief that it's not safe. Maybe in my childhood, I was taught it wasn't safe to feel. Maybe I was shamed for being sensitive and having big feelings. Maybe my parents just didn't have the ability to comfort me the way I needed. Whatever that conditioning is, it's got nothing to do with the validity of my feelings. As an adult, I know that now. I know that my feelings are always valid. No matter how messy or hard to understand they may be, my feelings are always valid. And my feelings give me information. As long as I'm not hurting anyone, my feelings are fucking valid. And I deserve to feel all of my feelings. Because life is meant to be felt. I am here to live a full, juicy, delicious life. And that means feeling it all. Because without the gross and uncomfortable and painful, I can't fully experience the delicious, juicy, and joyful. It exists in the contrast. And so maybe I could choose to focus on the fact that the more deeply and fully I allow myself to feel what is uncomfortable and painful, then more deeply and fully I'm able to experience magic and joy and pleasure. And like, I wanna fucking sign myself up for that. I didn't go through all the shit I've gone through to deny myself all the wonderful feelings that are possible for me. And so I'm letting go of any lingering resistance, letting go of any stories that say it is not safe to feel or that it's shameful to feel. All of that stuff ends here. I'm gonna take it into my hand like this, crumple it up like a piece of paper like this, and I'm gonna toss it as far as I can like this. <laughs> Be gone. These beliefs and judgments do not serve me. If anything, they just have me feeling worse than I'm already feeling. Because I don't know where I got this idea that I could bully myself into feeling better. Like, what? Why am I doing that? I wouldn't do that to someone I care about. So I'm gonna stop doing it to me because I care about me. I love myself. I accept myself. And I forgive myself for being a little bit mean or maybe being very mean to myself. It's just an unlearning. It's just me perpetuating beliefs that weren't mine to begin with. And I'm so proud of myself for being able to recognize that. And I'm so grateful to have the awareness to recognize that. Sometimes all it takes is to tell myself a different story. 
So what is the most loving and kind story I could tell myself about these difficult feelings? Maybe it's simply just that I am human. I am a human with a big fucking heart and a lot of empathy. And so I feel things deeply. And even though it's painful and icky and weird, it is also so beautiful and true. It is also part of living a full life. These feelings remind me that I am alive. And if it were, if I had to choose between being numb and feeling alive, I think I'd choose alive. So I'm allowing myself to fully feel all of my feelings. Surrender to the emotions that are bubbling up without judgment, without resistance, without shame, and trusting that I will not feel this way forever and that I'll come out on the other side feeling so fucking empowered and resilient and even more grateful for the beautiful moments in my life because life happens in the contrasts and life happens in the present. And the more fully I can surrender to the present, whatever the present moment is, the more fully I can experience my life and the less I'll suffer. I choose to be brave. I choose to feel my feelings. And I choose to celebrate myself for daring to do so in a life, in a society that likes to numb things. And I choose to love, accept, and forgive myself no matter how I feel. And so it is. Take a deep breath in, gently let it go. And just take a moment to close the eyes. Just wanna keep you here a little bit longer to just feel into any shifts. If any feelings want to come, to allow those feelings to come to allow yourself to hold yourself in your experience. When it rains, it pours, but you didn't even notice. It ain't raining anymore. It's hard to breathe when all you know is. The struggle of staying above the rising water line. Cause the sky is finally open. The rain and wind start blowing. Cause you're stuck out in the same old storm again. You hold tight to your umbrella. But darling, I'm just trying to tell you that there's always been a rainbow hanging over your head. Yeah, there's always been a rainbow hanging over your head. Bring your hands to your heart. Remember to love yourself. Allow yourself to feel it all. Take that with you into your day. I love you. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon.